Oh, since you're here already, um, another thing is to get a, get blown out after blow off this fuse is those are Infineon uh, MOSFET. It's right here. And uh, so you probably want to check those MOSFET too. Uh, since today's video is for do it at home, so I'll try to keep it uh, PG-13. So uh, I'm not going to talk about those MOSFETs. Normally, if you get a F2 blowout, those MOSFETs are okay. But uh, if you have a F2 working, uh, uh, you have to check those MOSFETs. You can see for this board, both of them dead. And this board, both of them working. So different member, they get a different problem. But most likely, you get one of them blown out. I forgot to show you uh, how where it's F1 fuse. There's another F1 fuse that's the uh, other side of the, the board. But what you can see is a different motherboard have different configurations. So I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to have a document that's uh, document all the positions, so it's easier for you to find. Uh, you can go to bchtechnology.com and just type in F1. And uh, this is the fuse we're going to use today to replace. You can replace F1, F2, F3, all the fuses. And uh, in the product description, uh, I'll try to show you where the F is. What the F is? <laughs> OK, for example, for 2650, uh, is right here, call F1. Uh, 